how to deal with our critics and people revving their engines outside right when you're going to go film a video. Robbie's tips for artists because he loves you. Hola, you amazing artist, and welcome to the studio. I'm very excited to announce that like the studio is officially finally up and running. I know that it's been it's been like a year. Probably in the next month or so, I'll be doing a video of how we organize the studio. Um, right now, we are uh, doing our taxes because that's what you do in April, unfortunately. Uh, the reason that I wanted to do this video is because one of our awesome rogues contacted us about, um, they had posted something on social media and an acquaintance that they know that doesn't do any art or anything like that uh, left an art critique, a very like um, a, a art world mumbo jumbo sounding art critique. I looked at their artwork and I was like, your art is great. I don't understand anything that this person said. They contacted us and they were like, how do you deal with that stuff? I thought that I put this video together um, about how it is that Clean I deal with art critiques. One of the first things that I had to learn was how to get over my anxiety about being criticized when it came to my art. Because, you know, our art, that's something that's very personal to us. And a lot of times we're putting this stuff out there and people might make comments not realizing that it's gonna get under your skin. Now, my rule of thumb has always been like, if there's anything that gets under my skin, I want to work on that until that button can't get pushed anymore. Like it can't get under my skin. Every time that I've gotten critique in a way that maybe it, it, it just, you know, it's, oh, that, that really bothered me. I always confront that and look at that in a way where it's like, all right, well, let's say that I get this critique again. What am I gonna do about it? But most importantly, like, instead of having that knee jerk response where you just kind of like, screw that guy, you think about it in a way where it's like, all right, is there anything constructive that I could get out of this particular critique? Is there anything that I could walk away from with this where like, all right, maybe I could improve that. What's important there is that you keep an open mind, that way you're not just disregarding everybody offhand, but also you wanna look at the source, right? So this allows you to really investigate the source. Like, all right, where is this person coming from when it comes to my art and this particular critique that they gave me? Number two is remembering that art is in the eye of the beholder. Basically, whatever that person is looking at really is based on what they're thinking, their mood, who they are, who, what, the way that they're looking at the world in that particular moment. You gotta remember that art is subjective. Not everyone is going to appreciate uh, the work that you create. Not everybody's gonna like it. Some people are gonna love the work that you create. Some people are gonna hate it. And that really that's where a lot of artists will struggle with things because you know, they wanna create things that everybody likes and all that stuff. And honestly, that's impossible. Some people out there, they're gonna love your art. They're gonna love you. Some people out there, they're gonna hate your art and they're gonna hate you for absolutely no reason because really it's, it's not you. It's them. Number three, the third thing that I do is I allow the critique to put a fire under my butt. And a good example of that was uh, my dad. I love my dad. My dad didn't have a support system. And I think because of that, he struggled a little bit in the beginning of my art career uh, when it came to what I was doing, especially when it comes to abstract. Till this day, he does not understand what abstracts are why it is that I create them. It doesn't make any sense to him. Usually in the past, what would happen was I would get embarrassed, I would get ashamed, and I would kind of avoid the thing that I was doing. But at this stage in my life, I was like, you know what? I don't, I don't care. I'm gonna get so popular, I'm gonna get so good at this, that you're gonna eat your goddamn words. <laughs> you know, like that's where I was when it came to my art at that point, where I was like, you know what? I'm gonna use this as a fire under my butt so that next time you're like, I don't understand this or whatever, I'm gonna tell you that, well, other people like it, so, and I like it, so maybe you just, you just don't get it, that's okay. So the fourth thing I do when I'm running into a critic and maybe um, there's, there's something there that I'm like, mm, I'm, not, I'm not sure how I feel about this, question their criticism. Well, why is it that you feel that way or why is it that you think this? And a lot of times, if it is something that is not called for, they're gonna have a really hard time coming up with a valid reason why it is that they have that particular criticism of your work. You know, at first dealing with criticism, that was a thing that I, I just, I struggled with. 
in the beginning. But after a while, I decided I was gonna have a lot of fun with people that criticize my work. And what that allowed me to do was to listen closely. You know, if it's good stuff, then whatever. And if it was crap, then it was great because you question somebody else and you put them on the spot. A lot of times people don't expect that from the artist, especially people that are kind of mean spirited and just want to make some offhanded comment. Put them on the spot when it comes to their criticism. The next thing that I keep in mind is that one opinion is not valid. If I got a criticism and it's stuck in my crawl, you know, because some of those, some of those will stick in your crawl. What I would do is I would contact somebody that like I respect their opinion. So what are your thoughts on this? You know, this is the criticism that I got on this, you know, be honest with me. And most importantly, find somebody that is honest. And if your feelings do get hurt and you're talking to somebody that you really you know, respect and and you know that they're there to support you. There are plenty of other things that are gonna discourage us from moving forward in our career. Don't let words be one of them. Criticism, rejection, all that crap, really, uh, honestly, it it's something that you shouldn't take personally. The next one is uh, I learned not to take it personally, right? A lot of people will tell you, grow a thick skin. I'm not a, about growing a thick skin. I don't think you have to grow armor around you when it comes to your uh, to people criticizing your work. I think really it's just getting really comfortable with your work, understanding that like some people are gonna like it, some people aren't. And really, at the end of the day, it has nothing to do with the work itself because art is subjective. And you never know what that person might be going through. That person might be having a bad day and is just grouchy and, you know, bitchy at everyone. Maybe they're feeling like their dreams aren't going to come true. And they look at you and your representation of everything that they have failed at in life. And like, you just, you never know where someone's coming from. I could tell you this, if someone is criticizing your work harshly, then they're not out in the arena. They're not putting themselves in the arena. You never know what it is. The only thing I can tell you is that it doesn't have anything to do with your art. It 100% of the time has to do with the person that is giving the harsh criticism. How they approach you, how they talk to you, all that stuff is a reflection of them. It has nothing to do with you or your art. It's important to keep that in mind because if you decide to put yourself out there. You're gonna deal with people that don't like you, don't like your art, don't like what you have to say. There are plenty of people that don't like what Klee and I have to say in these videos or my artwork or her jewelry. There are plenty of people that love to hear themselves just give a criticism, right? Because it makes them feel important in that moment. Well, so what? When you get into the habit of just smiling and being like, all right, cool. You know, like that, that's basically it. Somebody's giving you an opinion and you're like, okay, cool. Some of the opinions might be, I'll take that under advisement, but other opinions is like, all right, sweet. Good for you. <laughs> the other thing that I keep in mind is um, keeping my cool, right? When it comes to a criticism, uh, rejection, anything like that, I always think about being the blue flame, right? Not the red flame that goes all crazy and, and loses your shit. You don't want to lose your shit. If I get angry or I get really upset about something that somebody said, that means that on some level or something, it's bothering me, right? It means that there's a possibility that I might think that they're right that what they're saying, their criticism, you know, like if somebody comes up and they're like, yeah, your art is all shit. And I take that personally and it really hurts me, then it means that there's a part of me, an insecure part of me that feels like my art is all shit. If I don't believe that, um, then they could say that till the cows come home. And like, I'm not gonna care. If I'm allowing myself to let this person get under my skin, then there's something under my skin that is, associating what they're saying as true. So it's always a great investigation for me within myself to get rid of some insecurity that I may, might be having about my art. That brings me to the next one, grow from the experience. No matter what, when it comes to this art journey, this is a personal uh, journey of growth, right? You're pushing through comfort zones. You're putting yourself out there. You're standing in the arena and people are going to criticize you and reject you. And you know, you're gonna get to a place where you just don't care. Honestly, every single experience that you have in that, in that manner, in that fashion, is really an experience that gives you the opportunity to get to a place where, yeah, that I don't care. That doesn't bother me. It's all part of the, it's all part of the game. And finally, the last thing that I think about is 
Honestly, the only opinion that matters, that really matters at the end of the day when it comes to my art, is mine. I'm the one that created it. I'm the one that decided that it was done. I'm the one that decided to use the colors or the marks or the texture or whatever it is. I'm the one that decided what the subject was going to be. I had my reasoning for painting it. I, I'm the one that decides whether or not I like it or not. Nobody could take that away from me. They have their opinion, sure, they have their thoughts on the work, but really at the end of the day, nobody could define my work for me. My work is defined by me and the people that collect my work, plain and simple. And before there were people that collected my work, my work was defined by me. It doesn't matter what anybody says. The most important opinion about your art is yours. Everybody else's opinion, you know, it might be helpful, but really at the end of the day, your opinion is what matters. And I think that that's about it. That's th those are the things that I think about when, um, you know, whenever I'm dealing with an art critic, whether it's like an art critic in a paper or an art critic, the some side seat critic that is like, yeah, I'm, I, I think that you should blank, blank, blank. Trust me over the years, both clean. I have heard just about everything and you know, it just, it doesn't matter at the end of the day. It just doesn't matter. And I'm curious to know how you guys deal with our critics. And if you've ever had a situation that you uh, feel like you went above and beyond in the way that you dealt with your art critic, go ahead and leave that in the comment section below. And thank you so much for watching you guys. You guys are absolutely freaking amazing. I totally adore you. And if you like this and you wanna watch more like this, then click right over here to subscribe. And that's it. I will talk to you later. Adios.